Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. She was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him. It set him up turned him loose and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left third echelon, left the life he knew, left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually, he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name. And he found somewhere to go looking. A city All right. called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept this compliments of your father. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude, and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position, and from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Hurry up, Sam, for they shoot your ass. Like just like the old days, you just, Sam. You're just gonna pull the pistol out, huh? Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there's civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. By now, they should have been carrying. See, uh, at least they teaching us how to play on this one. Make it fair. Unlike a previous point of sale game, our time play, they ain't teaching us nothing. You gonna turn your back? I'm there. Hang on. I'm tapping into the city's power grid. Yeah. That'll let me overload the transformers near you and blow out those lights. Now. All right. Hurry up and hit them. Damn, Sam, 20 years ago. Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? Yeah, is this Mac Payne? I don't like the dark. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. What the light switch is, huh? Why the hell your light switch way over here? Why is it way over here? That's still awkward. Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to when you want to kill When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. 
That's a nice way to do stealth. Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with them. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. What the hell is that? Teddy, what was that? Shh. Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay in bed. Oh, come there on, There you go, man. Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. That wasn't bad, motherfucker. I'll come and sign your work. They want us to shoot him? Come here, chicken shit! Whoa, man! What the hell? <laughs> As y'all can I'm tell... Show yourself, fuckface! We definitely need to work on our aim. You got, man? you got anything good? This place is shit. Yeah, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now shit. you're talking. Oh, let's get it. Hit that execute. I am. Hand to hand kills. Press RB to mark your targets. Pink, pink. Dad, what did you do to them, Dad? Sir, Just got rid of the monsters. Sam. What are you doing, Daddy? What, what are you me? doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements, and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him, and you can figure out what questions to ask. Hello, uh, who's paying the bills? <laughs> Tobin. Oh, man. Why well, we gotta keep working? <laughs> Y'all see, we moving up in the ranks now. We getting good with it. Even though I prefer I not to IT kill. I've got on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramko, a so local street-level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why he want us? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. That's the real question. But yeah, y'all leave down the comments, man, if y'all play Splinter Cell or not. Probably gonna get seen. Cover and shoot! Oh! Yo, yeah, we need to do this over. Run, Sam. Sam, run. We did this all bad. Pick our head up, man. I can't even see how many bullets I got. Oh, I got a limit to bet. Say less. Take him down! We could have did this a way better way. I'm just saying, I, I, that was my fault. Kill him. I'm out of here. Oh, where you going? Anybody else? Looking for me, asshole. Put the gun up, man. You don't want to do that to yourself. I'm not playing around. Who sent you? I'm not telling you a goddamn thing. Hit his head in, in this toilet, man. Oh. Man, you sure you don't want to talk? Okay, enough. You want to know who sent me? It's Colbert. Andre Coleman <coughs> runs drugs, guns, anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Coleman want me dead? If I talk, he'll kill me. Man, you better talk. Because I'm going to do the same damn thing. Oh, 
He drove the car that hit your daughter. Used to brag about it, you know? Uh, heard you were coming, so he hired me to, to kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? I can't tell you. All right. In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not gonna tell him a damn thing. Cause you're gonna be dead. <laughs> Sam, that went ruthless. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Coben's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Sam knew Coben was in there. And that he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in. No matter what. Mira, he's peek on the door. The fact they said that's a new object, like, I mean, a new gadget, like, bro, it's just a normal mirror. The fact that they don't see this, ain't nothing over here, we good to go. Man, stand your ass up, Sam, no call, no scene. Hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know you sorry. Hmm. So how we gonna get up over this edge? No, Sam, climb on this side. How now, one of them see me, I don't know. We're not gonna ask no questions. What's an agent? Y'all want to know the crazy part? That was a complete accident. Shit, shit. What, man? Sam, what the hell you got going? Jump your ass through the window. Y'all can go, man. Shoot that out. Oh, shit. Go down here, cause I know they're gonna come be checking that out. They won't let me aim. Well, I can't aim down. He's gotta be over there, right? You want some Yeah, you can come look over here. I'm gonna be over here.
Yeah, y'all hear me being quiet. That's, that's mainly because I'm trying to focus on this. So don't worry about me. Op open the door. That's all it is. I'm, I'm playing. I'm just being quiet, you know. Keep that. We can upgrade it. We got no damn points. Yeah, we do. Buy that. Buy that. Um, if I got a lot of points and somebody that played this before, this is because I played this and then I came back and then I stopped. Uh, machine pistols, we don't need those. We definitely gonna need one of these. Give us. Can we make this silenced? Can. Make, give me that UMP 45 and give me them hollow points. Like I said, I played this before, but it's been so long. How are we doing? But ahead of schedule. Don't tell those guys that. Yeah, no kidding. Any idea what's in the big box? Don't know, don't care. It's expensive, it's Russian, that's all it's about. So this means we're using the human pilot for this run. He does all the tough shit. Yeah, COVID trust is the manager to tell that where they're going to drive. Yeah, protecting their investment. All I'm saying is I wouldn't want to be that guy. Y'all boys turn y'all damn head over there, man. You got that loaded? Check. <laughs> crates. Yeah, check. Hot materials. Check. Big crates. Check. What about that? Check. <laughs> that stuff? Check. Remember, it's <laughs> Turn your head. Check. Damn, okay? man. We ain't got enough to execute him. We do, but we ain't gonna have enough to drop on top of his head. Now yeah, we gotta drop off right here. So we gonna have to hit the execute. Here goes nothing. Shit! Shit! <laughs> You think they'd learn to watch out for that? Like he said, you'll think they'll learn. Sam, you can't aim with this button? Team, on area sweeping. Sure, okay, it's just. Oh shit! Whoa, man! Damn, that's tragic, man. Fuck, man. What the fuck's going on? Is that you, Fisher? Come on, what? Find out. You could have found out if that was me, man. But hey, you wanted to do different stuff. You wanted to be nosy. You heard. You heard a chandelier hit the ground, you just had to go see what it was. You didn't have to, man. Now look at you and the rest of your partners. Just dead. Could have still probably been living. But now, I'm walking around lost, trying to find dialogue, because I don't know how to get down there. Oh. Thought we already went this way.
him for... Shit! I'll find you and I'll kill you, Fisher. You'll be our new piece of art. Oh, Sam. <laughs> Wrong button, man. They changed all the stuff up on this from like your typical normal game. So, good thing I was just a regular EMP grenade. Because if there would have been something else, we might have been out of here. Oh, we got to get you. Bye bye. We got to go in here? Or can we keep going up? Think this place is haunted? Why are you gonna nah, it's not haunted, dog. It's just because I'm hearing things. That's why. And I want to know if you think this place is haunted. No, I don't think it's haunted. What you hearing, big dog? Cause I don't hear nothing. It's quiet right now. The lights go out. It's creepy as shit. There's these noises. It's an old building. Old buildings make noise. <laughs> but lots of. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> do a lot more than that too. By the way. Son of a bitch is gonna come through that door, and we're gonna blast him when he does. Boss, what if he comes through the window? Then you shoot him. What kind of fucking stupid question is that? Nobody's going anywhere. Yeah, they say come through the window. Like how you said, we're gonna go through the window. Are we clear? Yeah, boss. I said shut up. Easy there. Oh. I'm ready. Are you ready? It's ready. I'm ready. I'm ready right now. Damn, he got a hell of a lot of them folks in there. I'm not hearing anything. What are you waiting for? Fucking kill him! <laughs> oh, they see my ghost. Right here, man. This is my house, you hear me? My house! Don't let me kill all y'all from right here, man. Watch your back, you can't throw it! Come on, show me what you got! Oh, shit! 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 Why your ass didn't go back? Go to the other gun, Sam. Die! You're not bulletproof, are you? Ain't gotta be bulletproof, to kill you. I'm gonna blow your brains out! I thought you would know that. Hold still and die! Andre Coben, were you saying something about my daughter? Oh, God, no. I was just messing with you, man. I didn't mean it. I swear I didn't mean it. Then make it up to me. Tell me why you killed her. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. It was just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job. They isn't good enough. Who are you Stop working with the pronouns. For? I can't tell you. I'm still working for them. They'll gut me if I tell you. Uh, Sam, sound like we need to get the hell out of here. They're not the ones you should be worried about right now. You don't kill them, Fisher! They're bigger than you. 
They're bigger than me! Oh. Oh. Don't you see? They told me you were coming! Damn, what's these spec ops? Drop it, Victor! Drop it off! Oh, you won't get hurt! Sam, One goddamn we need it. to go with them. The hell I do. Please. You have to trust me on this one. If you're talking to the Ice Queen, Fisher, I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. Ugh. What took you so fucking long? Don't move! Hands in the That's air! That's it, Fisher! Nice and easy! Man, this is Ghost Hawk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. All right, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup... Son of a... Hey, we'll shoot my ass with a tranquilizer, huh?